day and welcome to episode 82. In the last episode, we finally had success crossing into Georgia before we made our way north into the mountains of Kesbegi, where we tied the knot. In this episode, we leave the mountains heading southeast to the Kaheri region. having our breakfast and we're about to pack up the troopy and drive back into Juta. Um, hopefully the weather clears up by the time we get back in there because the whole reason that we're going to do that hike is so that you hike up a mountain on this side and you get views back to these other mountains um, which resemble the Dolomites in Italy. But as you can see the weather's closing in a little bit on us today. Um, so yeah anyway we'll see what it's like when we get in there. Um, it's been a really cool camp spot here. It's been so nice listening to the water trickling all night. There's been so many cows on the other side. There's been a few donkeys just before that were making um, a fair bit of noise, which is always fun to listen to. And these little birds, they've just been like hanging out on the rocks in the middle of the creek. And then they'll just like dive under and just pop up a little bit further down. So that's been keeping me quite entertained. Um, quite cold here. I've been in denial a little bit that it's winter weather haven't wanted to get my winter clothes out of our winter bag so i've stolen mark's hoodie which has been keeping me warm enough but uh yeah hopefully it's a little bit warmer when we get out of the mountains um so yeah we'll um we'll pack up and hopefully the weather's a bit clearer by the time we get into town <laughs> so guys just pulled up on the road like <laughs> next to where we're camped Mark went over and anyway, he's got the boot open. <laughs> oh, I didn't know what to expect. Apparently he's selling fruit. <laughs> Super random, so we can <laughs> go and buy some fruit out of the back of his car. Hello. How's it going? Su chao baro baro. Oh, cucumber. You want some cucumber? Yeah, maybe you can. Oh, that's a lot of berries. <laughs> <laughs> well, you just wanted to go in out. <laughs> oh. Perfect. Yeah. Oh, they're um, so peaches. Sweet. Mm. Maybe I got a couple of them. Maybe you got a few? Yeah, how many do you want? Half? A half kilo? Half? Oh, that's juicy. Mm. <laughs> How's all your fruit? <laughs> I wasn't expecting this. Yeah. <laughs> so I think he just gave us like two kilos of kind of like a blueberry um, and some peaches and some apples. And it was about, I think, six dollars. Six Australian dollars. So anyway, I've got like a little USB powered blender in the car, so maybe I'll make a smoothie with all these berries. <laughs> I didn't know what he wanted when when he called me over. I didn't know whether he was gonna have like a dead sheep or something in the car that he wanted to give us, but it looked pretty suspicious. Like I was looking out of the tree view window, I'm like, what is going on? <laughs> I think he goes up to the where the um, border patrol compound is and sells them fruit. Yeah. Oh, okay, well. oh, and he just gifted us this little, oh, yeah, uh, this the little crate of gold <laughs> Cool, stocked up on fruit. The cloud's pretty low at the moment because of the temperatures, um, but we thought we'd give give it a shot anyway and see or hope that the clouds will lift a bit. Um, so this is where this is where they are. You can just see the tops of them just poking through the clouds now. 
we've been here for about 40 minutes hoping um, that we'd see something a bit more but um, hasn't it's just kind of been no results so they have been sticking their head out every now and then through the clouds which has just been awesome been really dramatic against um, with the sunlight the sun and the sort of comes out <laughs> and the cloud so that's been good but um, yeah I don't think we're going to get much better than this so we're going to make the trek back down it's only about a k or probably not even that back down to the village where we're going to get a feed before we head uh, east to Kahiti, which is only about three hours away. That's a good thing about these countries is that it's so small. So you look up somewhere to go and it's just it's only kind of just down the road, around the corner. All right, let's get some food. These trucks are all heading north to Russia. They're waiting to, to cross the border. And um, so this road we're on now is called the Georgia Military Highway and it links obviously Georgia and Russia. And um, all these trucks are coming from the country south of Russia. So there's Georgia and Turkey, Iran, um, Uzbekistan, and just all the countries in this region. And they get pulled up in certain sections which are deemed safe um, along this highway so they're not all banked up at the border so and they apparently they can wait for several days to get across the border so this possession here is probably about 15 kilometers long which is unbelievable how many trucks are here and then they just the police monitor where they stop and then they get released and they go on to the next part so but i mean they're all they all just sit here and wait it must be a pretty, the view. Yeah, pretty slow process but in this with this backdrop it's um we think of worse places to wait it's crazy like Kahedi and this is the vineyard that we're staying at tonight so we're gonna set up just here it's a beautiful garden and the vineyard with a little um, lookout tower thing which is where we're gonna have dinner and then there's all the mountains to the north um, way over there so yeah it's a pretty nice spot especially to come and relax to after a long day of driving um, it was a little bit hectic just um, all the Weekenders are uh, driving back to Tbilisi and um, yeah, they all get a bit crazy driving on the, the mountain roads trying to overtake the trucks. So anyway, nice to come here, relax. We're gonna have dinner here um, and do a little wine tasting. So that'll be really nice. Mark's gonna put the roof up. It's a beautiful sunset. Yep, I'm a happy girl today. <laughs> So we've left the vineyard, we've come into Tel Aviv this morning, which is the, I guess, the main town for the Kahedi region. Um, so we've come to a guest house and uh, finally doing some laundry because that is well overdue. And while that's happening, we're going to go in and get some lunch and just explore the town because um, the architecture is absolutely beautiful. So yeah, that's where we're going to go now. Ready? Ready. <laughs> Georgia is one of the oldest wine regions in the world, with wine production dating back over 8,000 years. Around 6000 BC, the people of this region would bury their grape juice in clay pots for storage over the winter. When they retrieved the pots, they discovered it had fermented into wine. Over the following millennia, this method has been refined, still using the clay pot, to produce the sweet Georgian wine the country is famous for. Georgia is also famous for its rich, flavorful cuisine like this, which is called kinkali. So you're supposed to suck the juices out and then you eat it. So this one has meat inside. <laughs> it's really hot. <laughs> so 
we've driven out of Tel Aviv um, about I think it's like 10 or 15 k's or something to where we are now and we followed some tracks down to a dried riverbed and have set up here <laughs> We've got a bit of a um, Chinese laundry situation going on. Um, we got a bit impatient with the laundry drying at the guest house today, so we just took it with us and it's all still pretty damp, but um, yeah, it should be dry by the morning, so that's good. And then tomorrow we're going to keep heading west towards um, a place called Vardiza, which has these uh, ancient um, like houses built into a rock face, so that should be pretty cool. Um, yeah, this is where we're at tonight. What are you doing? Just open up some more clotheslines. <laughs> these, the, these are the guy ropes for the, the additional ones I made for the awning. We had a bit of washing to do, hey? <laughs> yeah, a lot of washing. <laughs> we need a lot of clotheslines. That's it for this episode, thanks for watching. Catch us in the next one where we head west towards Turkey. See ya!